Israel has rebuffed warnings against striking Iran, which have been consistently coming from the international community. The country's foreign minister says it's Israel's business alone whether or not to carry out an attack. Anti-Iranian rhetoric was again stepped up after the UN nuclear watchdog's mission in Tehran brought no results. Tel Aviv suspects Iran's atomic activities have military purposes, repeatedly saying there is a need for a preemptive strike. Its Western allies haven't backed the idea, saying tough economic sanctions against the country need time to work. But there are growing doubts over the effectiveness of the penalties. RT's Priya Shrita reports from New Delhi. The message is clear. If Iran's intransigence continues, it will face increasing pressure and isolation. The West is ramping up the pressure on New Delhi to follow its lead in stopping imports of Iranian oil and dealing with its central bank. But India refuses to follow suit. It is not possible for India to take any decision to reduce the import from Iran drastically because after all the countries which can provide the requirement of the emerging economy. A former U.S. State Department official said that India's failure to stand with the West on the oil embargo is a slap in the face for the United States and raises questions about India's ability to lead. But despite all that, Indian officials won't budge on the issue. India is Iran's largest oil customer with an annual trade of $12 billion. Officials here in New Delhi are negotiating with their counterparts in Tehran to continue that trade, using rupees instead of dollars to get around the Western sanctions. And it's not just India ignoring the West's wishes, with four Asian countries collectively buying two-thirds of Iran's oil, while the EU buys just 20 percent. Whether the sanctions work or not is not India's concern. These are sanctions imposed by the United States and the European Union. They didn't consult us when they imposed these sanctions. So it's, that's the American problem, not ours. Our issue is the welfare of our people and their energy needs. That's why many say the sanctions will be totally ineffective if the Asian giants won't play ball. The countries which are sort of uh, holding out of the future are India and China. Sanctions would not bite Iran sufficiently enough to achieve Western countries' objective if India and China were not to come on board. EU-US sanctions are designed to isolate Iran, but if Asia won't play that game, the question arises what will or can the West do next? Priya Sridhar, RT, New Delhi, India.